Hello YouTubers, today I'll be teaching you how to jailbreak an iPod Touch running on any firmware in any generation. So, as you can see, um, I've got an iPod Touch and it's jailbreaking. Okay, so, let's get right into this, and first things first, I'm going to show you some tricks. Uh, as you can see, so, oh, just let me get a good angle on that. I'm going to, uh, there, there it is, Cydia, if you guys can see that real good. And I'm going to go general. General. Okay. And you're gonna click on about. And then there we go. Four point two point one. Uh, firmware eight C one four eight. That doesn't really matter. And there we go. City. Okay. Now that I've showed you some proof. Um. Now I'm gonna go straight now into the tutorial. So now first things first is I'm gonna show you onto my computer. So here we go. Okay, so just let me get a good angle on that. Okay, there we go. Alright, now so, look, once you open up iTunes, so you're going to open up iTunes and on your iPod Touch iPhone, same thing, uh, you're going to get the power plug and just plug it in. iPhone and iPod, doesn't matter. Wait about uh, 5 to. Five to ten seconds, and if your name has not popped up in the in the left hand corner box, you gotta just do it again. So uh, take it out and put it back in. And just wait another ten seconds. Alright, here we go. Now it's popped up. Okay, so just over there. So what we want is um over there our name to pop up just there okay uh, so now second thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it into it's recovery mode sorry yep yeah, recovery mode okay so you're gonna put it into recovery mode so how to do and how to put it into recovery mode is you're gonna hold down the uh, oh first things first is you're gonna turn off your iPod touch or iPhone turn it off and wait until it's completely off okay guys and then you're gonna take out the power ca uh, power and then hold the home button and then put in the home again uh, put in the power cable and keep holding the home and then you should see cable coming up so there we go cable and on your computer it should say iTunes iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode or iPhone whichever one you have you must restore okay why you need to restore your iPod is so it does it, it is a um feather jailbreak if it's a feather jailbreak um then like each time you do the jailbreak like each time the power dies out or something like that then you gotta always do the jailbreak again so by restoring the iPod, um, it's going to be uh, untethered. So each time you turn it on, the jailbreak is still going to be on. Okay, so over here you can click OK. You will lose all your stuff, but who cares? You can get it all back again because it's jailbreak and you can get all the apps for free. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to click on Restore. And I've already done that, so I don't really need to restore. So, okay. Uh, once your iPod has restored, yeah. Hold on, just let me reboot my iPod. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Just rebooting my iPod. Okay, should reboot. Okay, so once you have restored your iPod, second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the link below. In the description. Okay, so download it. Okay, and um, if it, it's not there, the download link is just wait a f a few days. I'm and I'm gonna put it up in the first day I upload this video. So there'll be a link down in the description below. All right. So once you've done that, you're gonna open up the link you just downloaded, and it's gonna say something like this when you open it up. So let me zoom in, zoom into that. Uh, you're gonna open up. It's called Green Poison, but all the other links have a survey to it. 
my one doesn't because I don't really care about money. Okay, so once you've restored your iPod, you're gonna put it into DFU mode now. How to do it in DFU mode? Just the green poison will tell you. So now here it says in green poison, it says please turn off your power device and connect it to begin. Okay, so connect connect your iPod or iPhone touch and then turn it off and slide the power off okay I'm not gonna do that but you guys should if you're jailbreaking it okay and then you're gonna click on prepare to jailbreak DFU mode okay so this time it's gonna be in DFU mode now here it says in 3, 2, 1 now it says hold press and hold the sleep button then continue holding sleep button and hold the home button just follow the prompt there and then once you've done that here on your iPod the screen or iPhone it should go white and once it goes white it should load up some codes in black don't panic or anything because that's exactly what it has to do if it doesn't go uh, like load up some codes and all that um, sorry but you gotta repeat the process of this but not like restore your whole iPod again just do that process with green poison okay then once you actually uh so have the codes and your iPod has rebooted now then what you're gonna do is you're going to on your iPod oh, hold on you're gonna uh, go to you should have a file you should have no files except an app called loader you're gonna click on loader so click on loader okay. and it should say Syria you click on Cydia and then you're gonna click on install Cydia I already installed it but you guys have to install it because I don't think you guys insta have installed it okay and then once you have installed it it's, it's gonna have a spinning circle and then once you've done that um, just wait until it loads up Okay, then press the home button. Slide to, un slide to unlock it, and then and then click on in uh, CDR and wait for that to load up. This is how you get the free apps. It's not the free apps are not on CDR. You just got to download a program from CDR. So once you're on Cydia, it's gonna say loading. Over here is loading. And then you're gonna click on manage. So over here, these are where you gotta click on. Uh, over here where it says manage, so you click on manage. And then you click on sources. And then you're gonna click here on the top right hand corner Hold on, just have over here where it says edit you see where it says edit over there you're gonna click on edit and then you click, click add okay and then you're gonna add a source uh, it's down below in the description so go down below and it should say source and then like just type in the source code over here if you don't want to go in the description, just here it is. I'll just say it out loud. So it's called Cydia. So C Y D I A dot hack. So H A C K and then U L O and then dot U S slash. So here it is over here. So in the blue. So you can pause the video and just copy that. And uh, once you've copied that, you're going to click on it. Uh, and then you're gonna so you actually click on the link and then then look for installers installers 4 or whatever just the main thing is it says installers so you click on installers okay. 
and then you're gonna click uh, here it should say install it shouldn't say modify it should say install okay but for me it says modify because I already downloaded it and then once you've got install this downloaded you're gonna click on install this oh yeah by the way guys on Cydia if when you first load it up it should say like who are your hacker or user or whatever I just type, click hacker okay and then okay once you've done that you can click search and search up say just for proof I want tap 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 revenge 3 cost 90 cents 99 cents in the app store but here in in installers you can get any app for free so here it is tap tap revenge 3 not a really expensive app, but who cares? We'll just I'll just download it just for proof. Um, here if we oh my god, if we scroll down, here it should say ninety nine cents the price. Okay, so now we go up and we click download. I say tap tap revenge three is really cool. I say better than Coldplay when Coldplay is like ten bucks. Okay, and this one's 99 cents, but you're getting it for free on installers. Okay, and then you're gonna click on regular download. So you click on regular. And then it says wait, please wait 10 seconds. So we're gonna wait 10 seconds. Okay, four, three, two, one. Okay, then once that's done, it's gonna say download over here. If you guys can see that, and then uh, click on it. Hold on, click on it. You may as well zoom into it, and then it's gonna say download, and it says two minutes. I'm just gonna pause the video, guys. And okay, now my download has finished. And just to show you that, I'm gonna press my home button, and then you go all the way to the app. And uh, hold on. Just let me click tap. Hold on. Let me search in tap tap. So there we go. Tap tap. Revenge. Three and okay, and yeah, and I'll let you play the game and all, but I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna waste too much time. Okay, so yeah, you can play it now. Okay, <coughs> if you get any errors downloading any, uh, any like programs of CDL or installers or anything, what you're gonna do is just <coughs> go on. Cydia and type in iFile so search in iFile and then click on the link below so if you're getting any like errors of that just click on the link below and like it will show the whole thing how to fix it up and all just uh, click on the link below it should say like um, how to fix up the errors and yeah it's on my bed if it's it's not there so it will be there like in a matter of week and it's probably there right now so just go ahead and click on that Okay, and that's pretty much uh, my video, and so yeah, have fun with your jailbroken iPod, iPhone Touch, any generation, and come on. And yeah, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.